Hello everybody, welcome to Six Flags Great Adventure of Fright Fest. I'm not here for Fright Fest, I'm here for like three hours, so I'll try to get on as much as possible. But yeah, I have Six Flags passes for the end of this year and next year, so should be getting here more, maybe to some other parks like New England. But for today, I'm just going to be trying to get on as many good rides as possible, specifically like Toro, because I haven't gotten that on that in a while since its closure last year. Okay, heading over towards Toro and Ka. Um, haven't seen either of them run yet, so not, no clue if they're even actually open, but if not, I guess we can go over to like Nitro or something. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, if you want to eat lunch there. Yeah, El Toro is still one of my top three coasters I've ever been on. Um, I will say it beats you up a bit more than I expected. Uh, the two ejector hills after the drop aren't as good, but still, best uh, best first drop on any coaster ever. Rolling Thunder Hill is absolutely crazy. I completely forgot about that. Um, and Twister part is like better than like I three hundred five part. I don't really know. Uh, yeah, best wooden coaster in the world, no question. Stop stop scamming and golden tickets. Um, yeah. Uh, Good, good job. It was running decently smooth, but I cannot do any more than two. Oh my god. This thing beats you up. Hey, what are you doing here? This is King Dakar, not Cheetah Hunt. No, I said it's King Dakar, not TMNT Shell Razor. Jeez. When will these animals learn? King Dakar's rattle is worse than Toro. Anyway, still very good ride. Dragster's better. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really have much to say. That airtime hill gave nothing in the back row, and you didn't get too much whip over the drop, but back row is generally the second best row on the ride, obviously after the front row. But yeah. Also, Zoom and Jaro, I've been to this park four times. It has been closed three of those times. Okay, so they have an Oktoberfest section, and there's some German, and I take German in school. So, Beer Garten. Um, that would be Beer Garden. Yes, German five. Okay, only credit that I don't have in this park that I can technically ride is Harley Quinn. You know, maybe next year, not today. Yeah, Nitro is running super slow today. I don't hold it against the ride, really, because normally it runs great and gives some of the best airtime on any B&M, but it just wasn't running great today, just because it's like maybe like 60 out here, which is colder than I normally ride it at. But Helix didn't give a gray out. The Bunny Hills were so good. Definitely would drop it down if this was my only ride on it, but I know what this ride can do, so. JDC's line's a bit too long over there. I've never had to wait too long for it before. I like this ride, but like I'm not missing out too much by riding it, which is pretty much the only RMC you can say that for. But overall, yeah, I mean, I'll give some quick thoughts. It has a bit too much of a rattle. I'm guessing it's slow paced today, but usually the pacing's pretty good. Um, restraints suck. Uh, the comfort collars are awful. But generally, good airtime, good hang time. Just wish it was a bit smoother and had as good of a pace as the clone OG Raptors. Batman, oddly had a shorter wait than Jersey Devil despite having way worse operations. Um, same thoughts as last time. It's really intense, which is great. Nothing, but nothing that's like really gonna blow you away. Like, theming is good for Six Flags, and yeah, uh, I'm already out of things to say. Good ride. Yes, everyone's favorite ride, Cyborg Cybersfin. But obviously the more interesting thing about this area is uh, Flash name I'm not gonna call it like should have just been Batman and Robin the chiller themed honestly but yeah it's gonna I haven't really talked about it like at all on this channel but I think it looks like a great ride solid airtime solid launches terrible capacity so we'll see what the heck's gonna happen with that but ride looks good and um, I'm pretty excited as long as I can actually get on it without waiting like three hours air and also that backwards double down that looks like the highlight but as for actual construction updates uh, nothing. Okay, so even with this Arboretum where they posted teasers for the ride, you still can't see anything. So, are they actually building this ride? Who knows? The answer is probably, obviously. But, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll be talking about it next year, so to hear our thoughts on that ride, make sure to stay tuned to the Roller Coaster Geek. Hey, um, yeah, that's all. I've been here for like two hours, like max, in the park. And I mean, four of the five good rides, with the exception of Jersey Devil, all had pretty much no line. Multiple rides on El Toro, rides on all those other ones. Bit chillier, so the rides aren't running amazingly. But for being here literally two hours, I feel like I got in quite a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll be having more content about this park with the 50th anniversary and all that. 